The frozen world of the Ice Age is one that's been lost to time for thousands of years, its secrets buried beneath the earth, away from prying eyes. But on rare occasions, these secrets are preserved in the very frost that once blanketed the northern hemisphere, so many thousands of years ago. And many of such secrets that shatter expectations with every discovery. From the famous frozen corpses of mammoths, to other Ice Age creatures like woolly rhinos, bears, lions, bison, and wolves that once shared their realm, preserved for countless millennia by the ancient permafrost. And as of November 2024, a new creature has been revealed through the thaw of this ice. An ancient mammal almost as iconic as the mammoth itself, yet never preserved in the flesh until now. The frozen remains of a saber tooth. In the year 2020, an astonishing discovery was made within the Siberian permafrost. A frozen, mummified, saber-toothed cub, preserved for over 30,000 years. This marks the first mummified saber tooth ever discovered. And not only that, but the first remains of any saber tooth infant discovered as well. More specifically, a scimitar tooth cub, belonging to a genus of blade tooth cats called Homotherium, or the scimitar tooth cats, named after their long, blade like fangs. And based on measurements of their incisors, it was only three weeks old when it passed away. While not as famous as its cousin, the iconic Smilodon, or saber toothed tiger, Homotherium is one of the most notable and astonishing Ice Age animals in the fossil record. With an almost worldwide distribution, the remains of these scimitar toothed cats have contributed immensely in understanding the lives of the saber cat subfamily, while helping to paint a picture of Ice Age life as a whole, thanks to several astonishing discoveries attributed to them. Most notably, caves that Homotherium once made their dens, that contain not only the remains of generations of scimitars that once dwelled there, but the remains of the prey they dragged into the cave including the bones of over 400 butchered baby mammoths. And with the publication of this new mummy in 2024, the scimitar tooths are back at it again with this amazing discovery, especially when scientists compared them to the lineages that survived to the modern day. When the frozen scimitar tooth was compared to the frozen remains of a similarly aged mummified cave lion, the two seemed remarkably similar at first glance. But when put beneath the CT scanner, the scimitar reveals a whole set of unique traits that set scimitars and other macarodonts apart from modern cats, including a longer skull, larger brain case, and palatine ridges only found within saber-toothed cats. While macarodonts, or dagger-toothed cats, while often referred to as saber-toothed tigers, they're actually a completely different branch on the cat family tree, one entirely separate from those of any modern cats, be it the tigers of the jungle or the house cats in your living room. And it's the differences from modern cats that truly make this find groundbreaking. Being from a separate, completely extinct lineage, Homotherium and other saber-toothed cats have traits that distinguish them from modern cats, most notably their long blade-like fangs. But this notable characteristic on the mummy showcases how short these blades were during infancy. The fangs of the mummified scimitar cub were underdeveloped, short and sheathed behind their lips, contrary to the many depictions of saber-toothed cats that we've come to know throughout these many decades and centuries. While it may be surprising to the layman, recent studies have found that actually many of these daggers, scimitars, and sabers were actually sheathed behind soft tissue, in particular, their lips, being short enough to be covered by the upper and lower lips similar to the canines of modern cats, with the only exception being the oversized sabers of Smilodon. And yet, even with that exception, they likely had more subtle looking sabers compared to the elongated, overexposed blades we often see in our art and media. 
Nevertheless, the shorter sabers of the cub further support another aspect of these extinct cats in regards to how these sabers were developing, being smaller and less exposed. Before growing out into the long blade-like fangs the adults used to slice through flesh. It's differing traits like these that have shaped the Macarodonts into their own unique lineage. One that the mummy not only showcases, but provides brand new insights into how these traits were developing. With analyses revealing how many of these advanced traits found in the adults were already present in their offspring. Long, thick, muscular necks, short bodies sitting atop proportionally long limbs, already present as early as three weeks into the cub's development. What's more incredible is that by the principle of being a frozen mummy, the scimitar cub preserves soft tissue that the animal had during its very short life, and subsequently, preserving traits and adaptations that tell us even more than bones could hope to do. From the remains of this scimitar, it's been revealed that unlike the lions they were compared to, the scimitar-toothed cat possessed round, wide paws, lacking carpal pads at the bottom of their feet. A trait not found at all in modern cats, but unique to Homotherium for living in cold climates they once thrived in, making it all the more indicative that Homotherium in Siberia were cold climate specialists, evolving these wide pads as snowshoes to move through the dense snow, and with the presence of the cub, it's only further evidence how specialized these cats were, developing set pads so early in life to survive in the northern Ice Age regions. It makes sense for the type of environment these particular cats were living in. As mentioned before, scimitar-toothed cats had an almost worldwide distribution, with multiple species of Homotherium populating the globe with the particular species the cub belongs to being Homotherium latidens, a species that once thrived throughout Ice Age Siberia, including the mammoth steppe, a cold, dry, featureless landscape that played host to the frigid Ice Age tundra of the Pleistocene just a few thousand years ago. Many of the animals that lived here were also cold weather specialists, including reindeer, muskox, and woolly mammoths whose dense layered coats and short ears protected them from the extreme, frigid climates of the tundra. In such an extreme environment, survival for a predator not only means the ability to hunt these megafauna, but to survive in the cold weather itself, and navigate this terrain as best as possible. And most importantly of all, the paws developing in the cubs so early further highlights that this was an adaptation for maneuvering through snow, even at this early age, likely for when they were old enough to leave the den to follow their parents through this snowy landscape. These pads might not be the only distinguishing soft tissue preserved on the mummy. Following the paper's publication, several enthusiasts were quick to note that this cub showcased a peculiar, almost beard-like formation of fur on the chin, a characteristic like many others this cat possessed, not found in any modern cats. While this so-called beard is more than likely an artifact caused by preservation, it's not totally implausible as a natural characteristic either, especially for an animal specialized to live in colder climates, and makes for a reasonable speculative adaptation, one that artists have begun to implement in the reconstructions of Homotherium inspired by this discovery. While this frozen scimitar tooth has provided us with brand new insights, what we've learned so far is only the tip of the iceberg. With this new specimen, scientists have only just begun to unravel the mysteries this frozen cub may yet solve. 